Okay, quick video explaining refractive index and how we use refractive index to both find the angle of refraction, our angle of in incidence, and also how we use it to find the critical angle of a material. Okay, so what does the refractive index tell us? Well, it tells us two things. First thing it tells us, gives us an indication of how much light bends when it passes into or out of a material, so when it passes across a boundary. Uh, it also gives an indication as well of how much the speed of light changes in two different mediums. So speed of light is constant in any given medium. It's 3 times 78 in air, approximately, or a vacuum. Uh, and it slows down when it goes into things that are more dense, so it's much slower in glass and water, which is why we get this effect of refraction. Well, the formula you need to know, and you do need to know this one for GCC, is refractive index, which is n, it doesn't have units, so we use the symbol n, is equal to sine i, where i is the angle of incidence in degrees, divided by sine r, where r is the angle of uh, refraction in degrees. And just to remind you what that looks like, uh, it looks like this here. So the refractive index here, if I wanted to find it out for uh, for glass, I would use the angle of incidence, make sure the angle of incidence remembers between the ray line, the incoming ray line, and the normal, uh, and the angle of refraction is between the normal and the, uh, the ray line as it's refracted. So I'd use I and R there, uh, in this case I is 45, R is 28, or what that give us? Refractive index is sine 45 divided by sine 28 degrees, Use your calculator and make sure it's not set to radians, and we get an answer of 1.5. Well, that's great, but what use is it? We can use it to find the critical angle. So first thing, what is the critical angle? Well, it's when the angle of refraction is 90 degrees. So it means it doesn't actually, the light doesn't actually go through the object. Um, at angles of refraction greater than the critical angle, we get total internal reflection. Okay, we only get this when we're moving from a low to a high speed medium. Okay, so when the, the speed of light is is, is getting faster, so it's going from glass into air, water into air. It can't happen when you go from air into water, because what happens then is light will always bend towards the medium, uh, sorry, towards the normal, which means the angle of refraction will get less. The formula is a little bit different now. It's this. The refractive index here is one over sine the critical angle. Okay, whatever the critical angle might be, again, it's in degrees. So let's just look at what that looks like. So here we've got the glass. Uh, for the critical angle inside, it's the angle of incidence now is the critical angle there, and the angle of refraction for the the uh, ray line is 90 degrees indicated by that there. Well, the great thing, um, yeah, the great thing with with this is that we don't need to, we only have one angle to worry about. So, we get refractive index is one divided by sine critical angle, and we can rearrange that so we get when we use inverse sine um, to get critical angle of 42 degrees. Okay, and that's we know it's 40 degrees, it's the, the meaning of life, the universe and everything. It's also the critical angle of glass. Okay, so I hope that helped.